When making a stash blanket like this, with all different types of yarn, you can just pick up a new color and let the yarn hang off. And then as you knit, work that yarn into the pattern. And at the end of the project, come in and snip the ends off. Now with 100% wool, these will have a tendency to cling in and even with the superwash will be less likely to come out and show in the finished product. If like me, you decided to make a stash blanket where you're mixing uh, all different types of yarn, but they're all machine washable, that's less likely to happen. So a good idea is to put the yarn strand that you're finishing actually connect it in a way to the yarn strand that you're using and I have um, I'm going to be using this yarn as my next color and you'll notice that there's actually sequins in here so how do we deal with that if we're actually combining the two yarns um, the new yarn with the old where the sequin spot is I need to cut that off and there's enough length for the next sequin which is down there so you'll need a sharp pointed needle with an eye that is this is a uh, the sharp pointed needle with an eye this is the needle eye that is large enough to receive the yarn stick it through like that and then you pull See how easy that is? Throw it. What I'm going to do is actually take the needle and insert it so that it goes up through this yarn. I actually want to get inside the center of the yarn as opposed to just going back and forth. I want some of it to literally be right inside this strand. So I hold it in between my thumb and my forefinger and gently move it up along that yarn. Some spots you'll see it sticks out further than others, but the point is for as long as my needle allows that's what I'm going to do is try and get the yarn. See that? And then I'll pull the yarn through. That's the beginning of my join. Yes. And to be extra secure, primarily because this is a superwash wool, and this is a rayon blend, I believe, with the sequin. I'm actually gonna go back near where this yarn comes out, and I'm going to go back inside, trying to hit one or the other of those. We're about halfway through what I did the first time. Now, for, this is excellent for a project like this. I wouldn't suggest this method if you're doing some fine knitting where any little bump or bulge will show. But I'm making a stash blanket, which uses up odds and ends in my yarn stash, orphan skeins, those leftover bits from a project that you finish and you just have a little bit left that you can't make a new project with on its own, but mixed together with some other yarn, you could do something, which is what this blanket is all about. Let me show you how I'll knit that in and what it looks like. This is a simple garter stitch blanket. Oh, sorry for hitting the camera. When you get to where the join is, 
just take it easy and don't go, don't have too much tension. You don't want to pull it loose. There we go. This was the end of that Raya. I'm going to cut that. And you can cut it close without worrying about it unraveling because of the way the two yarns were joined together.